Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, traders, and for Fibonacci trading, our website is www.dayprotraders.com. Uh, this video is for educational uh, uh, purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW uh, traders. All right. The title of the video is uh, How to Combine a Multiple Time Frame Trading Method and a 78.6% Fibonacci Retracement. All right. So we use the 78.6% Fibonacci Retracement level when we are day trading or swing trading. Now, how do we combine a multiple time frame trading method or a top down trading method, all right? Or something that trader call a triple screen a tra a trading method with the 78.6% a Fibonacci retracement level, all right? So pay attention, I recommend to traders to watch the full length of this video and to pay attention carefully. All right. At the end of the video, if you have any question, put it below, and uh, I will get back to you. All right. And uh, if you like it, if you like it. If you dislike it, please. Your interaction is very, very important for us. Okay. So, the currency pair that we are looking at, though I'm using here a currency pair, what we are going to discuss today is valid for stocks, for futures, for commodities. All right. All right, so we are paying attention to the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level because what usually takes place, you can see here this uh, Euro Australian dollar went down from 2009 up to 2012. So from here, where my cursor is, price going down all the way here. So for four years, the market has decided to sell the Euro against the Australian dollar. All right. Why? Because during those years, the Federal Reserve in United States was busy printing the dollar. So for those reasons, to protect real money, all right, because money it was devalued, the dollar was devalued, affecting other currency pairs around the world, all right, this is what we call the fractal nature of the market. So dollar being okay, a major currency pair, a leading currency, being devalued, have uh, the same effect, the same pattern, copy itself, and uh, paste it itself onto other okay, local currencies around the world. So, because the dollar was uh, devalued, uh, to protect real money, people were buying commodity, real asset that they can hold. So it's like you are hiding your money into gold, into silver, into real commodity. By buying commodity, we know that the Australian dollar will benefit from the commodity price. So if the commodity price keeps going up, the Australian dollar will be strengthening. So while the Federal Reserve was busy printing the dollar, devaluing the dollar, uh, the, the devaluation was exported into other currency pair, other currencies around the world, but because uh, people were buying commodity, the Australian dollar was strengthening. So during that time, because the Australian dollar was strengthening, the euro was weakening in relation to the Australian dollar. So this pair was going down the euro. People were selling the euro against the Australian dollar because the Australian dollar was going now, has more chance to go up than the euro. Therefore, the euro Australian dollar is going down. Okay. So there were some fundamental reasons, which I explained to you now, why people were selling the euro Australian dollar. But also there are technical reasons why people were selling this pair. So for four years, no one dared to buy it. It just went down. Boom, 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 boom. Here it is. It's down. Okay. So now, talking about the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level, suddenly the price start going up, okay? So, after a trend and the price coming out of the, 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 the bearish channel, in this case, was a bearish channel, 
Professional, we start watching the first level that we are watching is the psychological Fibonacci level, which is the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. If the price fell to go above the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, it means that the bearish momentum will continue nicely and smoothly, and the bearish party will continue. They will continue to sell. But luckily for this pair, it went above the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. The 50% Fibonacci retracement level did not suppress the prime. But I can assure you that when the prime was coming here, at uh, near the 50% the Fibonacci retracement level, aggressive traders, aggressive market participants have sold it, but they couldn't succeed to push it back down. So what is taking place? People were using the Fibonacci retracement level like a magic level. There's nothing magic about it. These are just key levels that we must watch, be aware of. These are like, um, okay, traffic signals that we cannot ignore, okay? But it doesn't mean that at every traffic signal, you will have a red light or amber light, definitely, all right? It keeps changing. So... That's why it's, it's not reliable to, to just sell at 50% or buy at 61.8% or buy at 38.2%. These are traffic lies, so to speak, for the market, for the price, for the financial instrument, for the asset that we are trading, all right? So the same thing, you can see that when the price came to the 61.8%, I will show you now, Fibonacci retracement level. All right, let's go to the weekly chart. Or the monthly chart you can see that uh, here it is you see this is 61.8 where i'm moving my cursor see when the price hit there some people sold it you see here they sold it here i told you that it's trying to sell also at 50 percent this is 50 percent so these are aggressive sellers so they just try to sell it and it come to they try to sell it again and finally it come to 71.8 but on this chart, I, myself, I prefer to round it. I don't use 78.6, though the correct uh, ratio is 78.6. I use 78 percent. So you can see on this chart, it's not 78.6, it's 78 percent. I prefer to use exactly 78 percent. See how it stop on it. So finally, they sold it at 78 percent Fibonacci retracement level. My point is traders, okay? All right. So they sold it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can avoid selling like aggressive market participant by combining a multiple time frame trading method and a 78.6 percent. Though we are using a 78.6 percent today, one can apply the same strategy for the 61.8 or 50 percent or 38.2 Fibonacci retracement level, either in the uptrend or in a downtrend. The key point you must understand, whenever we are using Fibonacci retracement level, we ask one essential question. What's the question? What has happened before? All right, so what has happened before? There were a downtrend, you see, there was a downtrend here, you see, there was a downtrend before the retracement. So the dominant fault is what? Bearish. So the market was saturated by the bear, the bearish traders, okay, they were selling. So, until we come above this high, we will say that the dominant force is still bearish. The price is going now, but the bear are scratching their head and say, are you sure that this bearish momentum has finished? So, if the fundamental has not changed, so I told you that there were fundamental reasons and technical reasons why people were selling. So, if the fundamental has not changed and the price rises rally, Okay, the prior rally is up to the 78.6 percent. That's overbought zone. On the other hand, if what has happened before was a bullish trend, and the prime went down to the 78.6 percent, and the fundamental did not change, we will consider the assets as oversold. You remember? So if it's sold like this. Any rally up to 78.6% zone. Mm -hmm. And the fundamental, which means the saturation, the bearish momentum has not changed. The fundamental did not change. Okay, it's overbought. It's considered as overbought. We will look for opportunity to sell. 
if what has happened before, the previous trend is bearish. But we will look for opportunity to buy if the previous trend is bullish. But how do we combine the multiple time frame with the 78.6%? So, let's go and do it now. All right? Because you are my friend, I don't want to hide anything from you. Okay? So, all we need to do is to acknowledge those traffic lights, as I like to call them today. The Fibonacci adjustment level. All right? We just acknowledge them, draw them, and just wait like a cat patiently and do not run away, do not force the market do not fight the market like the 50% people were doing it they fell the 61.8% people did it they fell but for day trading purposes okay you can grab some pips maybe even for swing trading but for 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 okay better decision one must combine the multiple time frame trading method and okay the 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 key levels the fibonacci key levels all right so we draw the line. That's the green horizontal line here. So the price was going up first before it hit this level. We know that the market, the dominant force in the market is bearish. And we know that in a zone of 78.6%, if the fundamental did not change, okay, we will look for opportunity to sell. But we know that recently the Federal Reserve in the United States was busy telling people that, oh, we're going to we're going to stop quantitative easing. We're going to stop printing money, which they did. And they have changed Bernanke with uh, the, uh, uh, another chairwoman, okay? All right? So the policy has changed a little bit, all right? But what are we trading? We are trading the price. So if, after doing our fundamental analysis or whatever analysis we have done, proprietary analysis, we are trading the price. What is the price telling us? So this is about the multiple time frame trading, okay? So here we are, we draw our line, we are on the yearly chart, can you believe it? When was the last time you saw the yearly chart? Okay, I encourage you, see the yearly chart, on the yearly chart, okay? So we're going to zoom into it. So if you want to sell, what do we look for? Okay, you want to sell, what do you look for? Okay, one of them is to look for a lower high after okay the, the last high we are looking for the first okay lower high okay that's one thing we can look for we can look for a declining channel around that zone okay what can we look for we can look for bearish patterns chart patterns Be so apart from the bearish market pattern which is a declining channel all right we can look for bearish patterns bearish pattern are formed around the overbought zone, around resistance zone. Bullish patterns are formed around support zone, okay, around the oversold zone. If you don't see any bullish pattern, okay, is the price displaying, okay, a higher low? Okay, is it in a rising channel at least? Okay, that's how we use a multiple time frame trading method. Why is it called multiple time frame trading or top down? Because we start analyzing the financial instrument from a higher time frame. In this instant, my starting point, the top to the down, the top in this case is the yearly chart. So top down from the yearly chart, I'm going to go to the lower time frames. Okay, a multiple time frame trading method because I'm not going to make my decision on a single time frame on this yearly chart. I will use at least two or three time frames. That's why we say multiple time frame, more than one, more than two time frames. That's why it's called multiple time frame. Analyzing a financial instrument on a, on a, on more than two time frames. Do I make sense to you? Okay, so. From the yearly chart, because we want to combine a multiple time frame, we must not stop on the yearly chart. So I look at it on the yearly chart. I know that the prior came near the 78.6% zone. Uh, the previous trend was bearish. And uh, I see what has happened around 50% and 61.8. And the prior was rising up to this point. So from here to here, there is a kind of bullish momentum taking place, even when above the 50%, which is the psychological price level. So it's a decent, okay, bullish momentum that is taking place. But now we are at overbought zone. Okay, is it going to go down? Is it going to go up? If it's going to go up, if it's going to go down, it will display lower lows, a lower high. 
you being a declining channel, and we are likely to see a bearish channel. So what I'm going to do now, when we are talking about multiple time frame trading, we must zoom into it. So from the yearly chart, that's all we can see. No, no much going on because this candle is not yet closed, so we don't see any. We can look for also for candlestick patterns. So this is another way we can uh, zoom into the price, so we can look for candlestick pattern apart from the the chart patterns, the market patterns, okay, the lower high, higher lows, and all the rest. We can look for candlestick pattern. Steve Neeson, all right, <laughs> all right. So check it on Google. You Steve Neeson, you see a lot of things, a lot of videos, a lot of. Uh, all right, candlestick patterns, or right. a lot of tutorials about candlestick pattern. Okay, so we can look for candlestick pattern or chart pattern around this. Zone. So, but on this yearly chart, that's we can't see much. So that's why we want to use more than one time frame. Talking about multiple time frame trading method and a seventy-eight point six percent zone. All right, but we know. The psychology of the market around the seventy-eight point six percent zone. So, if the previous trend was bearish and the price rally up to the seventy-eight point six zone, is considered as overbought until the price break above it, retest it, and find the support and continue the move to the upside, provided that the fundamental, the fundamental that were dominating the market in the previous trend did not okay change. It makes sense. All right, it makes sense. If you have any question, get back to us, okay? Please, okay? So let's go now. I'm going to go to the monthly chart directly to the monthly chart. So on the monthly chart, you see my gray line which we draw. So what I've done now with this gray line, I have combined the yearly chart to the monthly chart. That's what I've done now, okay? So don't think I say it's too complicated. Top down trading method, maybe a nice name, but nothing complicated about it. Okay, we are just using different time frame to analyze the same financial instrument from the top to the down. Okay, multiple different time frame. Okay, keyword understand that. Okay, so so on a monthly chart, what do we see here? So we can say that uh, the prime went up from here. So let's analyze this a little bit. So we can see well, it went up first. Okay, and then uh, pull back. Okay, and then went up again. Okay, and then he pulled back. And then he went up again. Okay, that's five moves. Very interesting for earlier wave traders. So earlier wave traders, we say that after the prior, okay, start going up, it went up in five moves. If you like, we can put a bit of color into it uh, to make it more interesting to everybody. All right. Right, use the orange for the third move. I don't want to talk about Elliott waves, so I say move and um, use pink, ladies. Okay, and then use black here. Beautiful. Okay, so we see that uh, looking on the monthly chart, we see that the price went one, two, three, four, five before hitting. Okay. The 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. But does it look very so far for us on the monthly chart? So it went up in five moves. Earlier wave trader will get excited here. Okay, those who understand earlier wave, www.24eliotwaves.com. So you remember what I said to you? We are looking for either a candlestick pattern, a chart pattern. Uh, the market pattern, okay, to know whether it's bearish. Okay, now from the yearly chart, we are zooming to it. On this monthly chart, what do we see? Look, what's this here? A doji. Is that a doji? Yes, it is a doji. Okay. This is a hammer, a doji first, and uncertainty, which means, uh, okay, the market does not know where to go, whether they should be bullish or not, you see. It's an uncertainty here. Doji is uncertainty. All right. Okay. I'm not the expert of candlestick, but uh, Steve Nissan is the expert. Okay. So we have a hammer here. These two candles is putting uh, the bullish progression, the last bullish progression, into question. All right. So we can say that uh, it went a one, two, three, four, five move and uh, hit this uh, exactly on the door. 
the 78 percent because i'm using 78 percent instead of 78.6 percent all right hit it and we see a kind of uncertainty here followed by a bearish candle this is a bearish signals for okay candlestick patterns so right now looking at this candlestick pattern is look it's looking a little bit bearish on this uh, monthly chart but looks like the following month all right so before that if you see this doji uncertainty plus another hammer you'll be saying that okay it's weakening so with these two candle around the zone of 78.6 uh, percent we know that okay it's looking bearish if you receive a sell signal we will sell yes or no so that's why people sold it here this true candle here candlestick patterns okay has betrayed what is taking place here and uh, following month people sold it uh, the following month you see it's not that bearish as such why there's a support here the high before the last high is what a psychological price level the low before the last low is a psychological price level the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level is a psychological price level so this was the last the the la the <laughs> Apologies. This is the, the high before the last high. I'm getting hungry. I think so. All right. This was the high before the last high. Okay. Okay. It's a psychological price level. So I see really is tough on it, on the dot. So it's now on the psychological price level there, sitting there nicely. All right. It's a tricky to trade there. If you want to be bearish, you must go below it, retest it, and turn around. Okay, so with the two these two candlestick pattern around the seventy eight point six percent overbought zone, trader responded and sold it, just analyzing the candlestick pattern here. But they did not just buy sell here on a monthly chart. They use what we call a top down trading method. So from this monthly chart, they will break it down, weekly chart, monthly chart, and then down to four hour chart, even to the fifteen minute chart, even to one minute chart before enter the trade on the edge. Another thing that we can see, because from we analyze it first on the yearly chart, now we are analyzing it on the monthly chart. We are focusing on the 78.6% Fibonacci retracement levels of level, combining the, okay, the Fibonacci retracement level and the top-down trading method. But one simple way we can join this low, which I do, you see this uh, blue line here, and this low, we see a trend line. So now the trend line that was supporting this five move is kaput. Okay? So patient conservative traders may be waiting and say, okay, let's see whether it's going to retest it and find a resistance here. And if you find a resistance on the edge of this uh, blue trend line, they will look for opportunity to sell. Though there are other traders that sold it here have a good reason to sell by uh, analyzing the candlestick pattern, some traders are still waiting <laughs> to sell. These are traders that follow the price carefully, break below, retest, turn around. They will not enter the trade if they don't see that. Sometimes they miss a huge opportunity. So that's what we can see on the monthly chart. So from the yearly chart, we drop it down to the monthly chart. Now we are going to the weekly chart. So far, we are using three time frames. Some traders talk about a triple screen, okay, trading. Which means, uh, especially for day trading, you will see that very often. Trader will use an uh, hourly chart, 15 minute chart, and 5 minute chart. This is a triple screen trading. So they want to align okay, the momentum on the, the, the hourly chart with the 15 minute chart, and then the, 50, the 5 minute chart. They will use the 5 minute chart as an uh, entry point, and they will use uh, uh, the 15 minute chart as a signal. Uh, the hourly chart is the setup. We can use okay the yearly chart and also drop it down quickly to the weekly chart and zoom into it to the hourly chart. So in that instance, we are using the, 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 the yearly chart as our setup, the weekly chart our signal, and the hourly chart as our entry point. But for entry point, we can even go down even to the five second time frame if we can, if you want to zoom into it for a, a better entry point. All right, there are many ways one can enter the market. But this is about uh, okay top down trading method okay, so now we are on the on the on the weekly chart. We are watching the reaction of the price around that uh, 
78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. Look carefully on the on this weekly chart. So on this weekly chart, we see that uh, look, look carefully. Okay, sometimes you need to look very carefully. All right, maybe you didn't see it. There is a chart pattern here. Did you see it? Okay, I let you watch it for a while. There is a, a chart pattern here. Can you see the chart pattern? Okay, if you see it correct, okay, I will show you. There is a chart pattern here. There was a, this high here on a weekly chart, and there was a, a, a this a higher high, okay, and then followed by a lower high here. Oops, I moved my line a little bit. Okay, I put it back nicely. And then there was a, this uh, lower high. We have what we call what a head and shoulder. This is the head. This is the left hand side shoulder, and this is uh, the right hand side shoulder. So as I said to you, for a multiple time frame trading method around the seventy eight point six percent zone, we can look for candlestick pattern, okay, to determine or to validate okay a bullish or bearish setup, okay. So we want to follow the trading theory, of course, the setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point. So from the yearly chart, we zoom into it on the monthly chart. On the monthly chart, we see a kind of candlestick pattern. Now, on the weekly chart, we see what? A head and shoulder pattern. So how do we do that? The neckline, yes or no? The neckline. So what is the neckline? Okay. All right. I see that's the neckline, yes or no? Okay, that's the neckline. And uh, what has happened here, some traders, uh, it depends how traders, because I, I can assure you that not all traders trade the same way and uh, use the head and shoulder the same way. I can assure you that they see the descent from here to here. Some traders will project it here, but some traders already projected here from this point, from the, the right hand side shoulder. As the trend line, the common sense trend line around the right, the right hand side the shoulder is broken. As soon as the common sense trend line alone, you see here, is broken, some trader will sell. Why? Right? TSCW24 traders know how to trade uh, this pattern carefully. And uh, there's an excellent filter for them, okay, so that they don't rush into the trade. So, so now, you see here, as soon as the common sense, so some traders will use instead of uh, putting the, the target, from the, the top of the head to the neckline to the breakout point, some trader will put it, okay, here, on top uh, here of uh, the right hand side shoulder, and they sold it here. Price come down here, but the normal way is to sell here. But I can assure you that some trader already sold it using this uh, measuring stick here. That's what I've said to you, not every trader trade the same way or use this pattern the same way. So we can see that around this, uh, okay, 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level, which is considered as overbought zone, we've seen, okay, a kind of uh, a bearish candlestick on a monthly chart, and also a, a head and shoulder pattern on a weekly chart. So if you did not sell on a monthly chart after the two candlesticks, you remember, the doji and the hammer, all right? If you do not receive a sell signal after that, you should be able to sell after the common sense trend line is right here, it's broken. So myself, I will be selling after this candle here. This candle here. Okay, this one here on the weekly chart. So I will be part of this move to the downside, okay, until we reach the next, uh, okay, uh, psychological price level. The high before the last high. Okay, you remember? Okay, so I will be taking only this portion. But aggressive traders in this case were rewarded because they challenged the price here and they sold it. The reason why they managed to succeed is because there is another group of aggressive traders, both the earlier wave aggressive traders that have counted five waves all the way to the 78.6% zone. So they consider that as a motive waves, all right? So they were aggressive, they sold it straight away. Now, then there were ordinary Fibonacci aggressive traders, market participants, that sold it again at 70. Some market participants, their trading system is to sell or buy at 78.6%. They do it all the time, all right, with their risk control. That's their trading method. And they will sell. And they sold it. So we have two aggressive, two groups that are selling here, and the price manages to go down, all right? 
price going down one two three now again it start changing direction again here all right it start changing direction again all right so if it continue to go out from here where it is now now i don't want to talk about that we will look at uh, Fibonacci extension, okay, in fact, you go first to 88.6 and then 100% and the ultimate target will be 138%, okay, Fibonacci extension uh, zone, all right, so you see now, so you want to sell at 78.6% zone, but you want to combine it with uh, a top-down trading method and uh, analyzing the prior on different time frame and you are looking for what, okay, chart pattern, candlestick pattern, okay, the market pattern, as I told you now, here we are, the trend line that was supporting the price before, and also we see here, for the first time, the price on this weekly chart, apart from the head and shoulder pattern, the price has displayed what? A, a lower high. Where is it? This is the first lower high. So, that's why you can look for opportunity to sell here. Instead of jumping on the price, say, you are at a 78.6% zone, you went down last time at that point, and you go down again today, I will sell you, and you start fighting the market. And uh, that's not the best way forward. So you see here? So they, it was displaying higher, higher high in the uptrend. Now we see the first lower high. Beautiful, isn't it? So now we have a bearish trend line for the first time. Before we have a bullish trend line, now we have a bearish trend line which I'm going to call her now, into red. So, as the music is going on now, okay, you see that you have now a bearish. So, if you did not sell it here, after this, uh, the common central line is kaput, you did not recognize the patterns, all right, now you are patient right now, okay, you can look for opportunity for day trading purposes, all right, for swing trading purposes, okay, Look for a sell signal on the edge here. It doesn't mean you sell, but you will use TSCWS as is your eight or any valid okay top down trading method. So you will zoom into it, zoom into it up to reach the lower time frame. So you see now from the yearly chart, okay, we went to the monthly chart and now we are on the weekly chart. We are just focusing on that zone, just looking for candlestick pattern, bully, uh, chart pattern, market pattern. Market pattern, we are talking about rising channel or rising trend line. The trend line that was supporting is kaput. So some trader, instead of selling on the edge of the red okay, trend line here, they will say, okay, we prefer to retest completely right here. The turquoise horizontal line is the short-term equilibrium price level for the euro Australian dollar. It's at 15439, all right? It makes sense? It is also powerful, yes or no? Okay? So this uh, short-term equilibrium price level has changed. I put it here for a while, it has changed now. So I'll come back to it another time, but uh, you can remember that, that's the old one. So it has changed now, okay? All right, so this is how we can combine, okay, a top-down trading method and a 78.6% Fibonacci retracement uh, uh, level. All right, it makes sense. It is also okay, a powerful. All right, if we drop it down again, we'll drop it down again one more time. So, from the now, we are going to the four hour chart. Okay, so we have used our triple screen more than three, three screen now yearly chart, monthly chart, weekly chart. Now, we even zoom into it into the four hours chart. We can continue this, even go even to. One minute time frame, even to five minutes, 15 minutes hourly chart. But all we are looking for is uh, okay. So you can see here on a four hour chart, your Australian dollar, the euro Australian dollar currency pair on the four hour chart. You can see here there was a high, the same high we see on the weekly chart. It's see clear here on the four hour chart. You can see down the four hour chart. It's, you you can see what's happening, okay, in the short term. So it went down first after hitting the seventy eight point six percent. It went it went down big time, okay. So on the four hour chart, four hour time frame traders, we see this uh, declining channel. I see, well, it came on, it started displaying, okay, lower high. So with, with this one, and this point, and this point on the four hour chart, you see, game on, start selling also, for day trading purposes, start selling, okay. You see here. 
you have a good reason to sell on the 4 hour chart because the price is at overbought zone and it's in a declining channel on the 4 hour chart. You may zoom into it and go now to the 5 minute chart and take it from there. Alright, you see now? Beautiful, isn't it? And then you come out of the chart, so you say, uh oh, it's not going to go up down so much. It's not going to go down too much because it's not out of uh, our bearish channel on the 4 hour chart. So we will pause. Though we want to be sellers, we see that it's out of uh, a bearish channel on the 4 hour chart. We say, hold it. Hold it. You see, you see the importance of okay, going into different time frames. So on the yellow chart, we couldn't see all this that it was happening. This is the fractal nature of the market. You see now? It makes sense. And then now it goes into a rising channel again on the 4 hour chart. You see now? So now you went into this uh channel like this, blah blah blah. If you want to buy it, it's up to you. You don't want to find a market, all you are doing, you are flowing with the market. Channels. Yes, channels. Finally, it came out of uh, our second blue small channel here on the four-way chart, and it gave us a beautiful signal. Did you see it? Came out of the channel, what it did? It went back to retest our channel on the four-way chart, on the dot here. We look for opportunity to sell, okay? We will look for opportunity to sell because we know that what he has done, in fact, he went down once and then rally up but couldn't go back to the starting point. We can use again right here. I don't have people that you trust my level. Are you with me? On the forward chart. Yeah. And then he went back up to the zone of what? Okay. 61.8. Okay, it doesn't mean because it's at 61.8 that we sell. We will sell here after it came out of uh, this uh, smaller channel. On the 4-hour chart, market pattern without fighting the market. <laughs> okay? Do not fight the market. To trade like, like a pro, okay, to trade like a pro is to flow with the market, the channel. So here it is. We will sell now. So it was in a declining channel on the 4-hour chart, rally up to 61.8%. On a four hour chart, now it's out of this channel and retest it here and start going down. We will sell it. Place our stop loss above here. We will sell it. Full stop. We sell it. So you see how we zoom into it from the yearly chart. We break it down. We can use this method for day trading, for swing trading, even for investment purposes by combining the 78.6% Fibonacci expressment level and okay, a top down trading method. We can go on with this, we can use fractal, we can use alien wave patterns. As you have seen it, okay, on the monthly chart, it went up in five moves, okay, when it started going up, and it returned the 78.6% uh, zone, all right? But you want to apply the market pattern and also use, okay, a different time frames. So what's happening now? So the price went up one, two, three. The minimum price move, according to the alien wave, is free. So I can go on and analyze this some more and more, but the purpose of this video is how to combine a multiple time frame trading and a 78.6% Fibonacci retracement level. Ladies and gentlemen, whatever trading method or trading strategy you are using, you must always okay, adhere to the market pattern, the rising channel, the declining channel, and the horizontal channel without violating the market principle. You must also pay attention to the um, uh, trading triangle because this is a currency pair. Though I say to you, this is valid for stocks. What we are doing here, we can apply it to stock. We can apply it when we are trading options. We can apply it when we are trading futures, okay? Any financial instrument, all right? But because we are trading the euro, Australian dollar, any time we are trading this pair, we must watch what? The euro USD, which is the leading currency pair. All right, very important. All right, this and also we can discount the economy news. All right, so it's not all about technical analysis alone. It's all about uh, the fundamentals and the uh, uh, the technicals. So if you are trading a stock, for instance, you will go to Google Finance. At least you do the Google Finance acid test. What is the Google Finance acid test? Go to our YouTube channel, the Joe Trio channel, and look for it on YouTube. What is the Google Finance acid test? Do at least the Google Finance Assist test, all right? Analyze the balance sheet, the cash flow, and the making money, market share, management, and, uh, okay, check the S&P 500 itself. 
check the Dow Jones, the major indices, the market leaders, what's going on in the global economy, the market is global, and then from there, okay, align it with your technical analysis and take it from there. All right? Do not just sell because the price is at overbought zone. Do not just buy because the price is an oversold zone. The 78.6% zone is considered as overbought if the previous trend is uh, okay, bearish and the 78.6% zone is considered as oversold if the previous trend is bullish. But as I demonstrated to you in this video, we will use a multiple time frame trading method around the 78.6% level using okay the market patterns all right i hope you have learned something for this video if you are looking for okay excellent top-down trading method is the tstw as well as a 008 trading system it's not a magic one it's not a trading software it's a simple trading tool all right because trading should remain very very simple all right but at the end of the day the, the bread and butter as we say in london the bread and butter of trading is the channels we don't want to fire them. So to finish off this video, what's happening now? So we are out of this channel. So the price now doing what? It's kind of, uh, okay, another channel here. Because last week we were waiting for the non-farm data. So we see the market was horizontal. How the, ma the economy news can change the dynamics of the market. You see here? The market last week was waiting for the non-farm data on Friday. Now it's out of the way. We'll see what's going to happen. I hope you have learned something from this video also, okay? And we'll put into use, okay, to make excellent uh, trading and investment decisions. We are the TSTW, as well as uh, 008 uh, traders. Speak to you soon.